Charlie, plantain chips, so plantain chips. Plantain chips is very common, then so and they be more plantain chips with a twist. How to get the perfect plantain chips? Yeah, be a spiced plantain chips and then regular plantain chips. Don't eat plantain chips in a boring way. I keep telling you, Abba's kitchen here is all about twisting everything in the kitchen. So you just need some plantain because it's plantain chips, and for the spiced one. You need something to spice it up. So it's your preference. If you want to do cinnamon, if you want to anything that comes to mind, whichever spice you're a fan of, yes, you can use that. So for today, what I did was ginger and clove spiced. So I used, of course, I had some oil to fry, deep fry. So what I did was um, to start off, you need to soak your plantain a bit in water. So you can take the opportunity to use it to wash your plantain and then also use it to peel. Then I did my solution, which was ginger powder and the cloves. And I added in my salt to taste. Yes. Then some water just to get the solution. It should be a bit thick and consistent so that it can really sit in and enjoy it well. If you don't have the ginger powder, and it's not compulsory to use a ginger powder. You could easily do your own ginger juice so you can blend your fresh ginger with water and then you just squeeze the water and use it or you can even crush your fresh ginger put it in some water and then dice your plantain into it it will spice it up perfectly for you so like i said you soak your plantain in water to be able to what peel it but you know it depends on you so it depends on you so for the spice one you need to cut and soak it so the spices will go into it so i used my slicer to slice the plantain i think in my very first video or my second video the banana chips i showed you different ways of slicing or cutting your chips so you could use your knife you could use the um the hand slicer like i'm using here and you can even use your grater there's a part of your grater you can use to do slicing so you can also watch that video and see how to get your chips when you want to use your knife and the other instrument so i said for this one you need to soak a bit because of the spices you want it to sit for it to marinate for it to take up the spices in there and trust me air thereof yes some days you need to spice things up you don't need to eat all this all every time every day same flavor same style <laughs> yes so i'm going to let this one sit and yes i'll tell you i'll do it in two different ways you could decide to do your plantain chips without soaking or without putting it in salt solution and fine you can decide to just cut it into a plate very dry then you fry so that means that there's not going to be salt here but when you're done fine you sprinkle your salt to it yes yeah, so that's another way you could go about it so the one in the place i start with that one so the other one could sit for a while and i was introducing it in one by one to make sure that it doesn't stick together yes you want your chips to come off one 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 you realize that when it goes in it goes to the base but then when it starts to fry it just comes to the top so the chips need the easy car don't worry don't worry don't worry just cut it well just drop it in it will fry by itself so you realize that charlie bba you one 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 honestly this works when you are not doing so much when you are just frying some few batches but when you're doing mass plantain chips hey if you do like this we're brew uh-huh so if you're doing a small portion for the family or for you know in personal consumption you can just dice it one one and put it in like that and you fry so deep frying is the best for chips and as you're frying you need to do well to be turning it you need to do well to make sure that both sides or everywhere cooks beautifully and yes constant medium heat Please don't go and use um super high heat. A baby in terminal so not in crispy. If you use very low heat, it's going to take a very long time and waste all your time. 
that they may get a bit soggy if you don't let it cook properly so medium constant heat is just right for this so you just need to make sure that yeah you just keep turning and actually this style works best when you are working with plantain the very very soft ones you see if you want you see in Ghana yeah I kind of corny it wouldn't yes so the very sweet one the very soft one the very ripe one those ones if you soak it in water they get mushy in some way so this style where you cut and then put it in one one it works best for that type and I can say when you're done you can sprinkle your salt to taste on it and you can serve it with some granite and enjoy your chips so this is one way to go about your plantain chips recipe the other way was the soaking which I've already demonstrated and I'm going to just fry for you to see so see how beautiful this looks so I just used my perforated little because that's going to help drain off most of the water then when I put it in quickly then oh, I try to separate those which have clouded together <laughs> let me put it like that those that are yes are forming together I just try to separate it quickly before um, it's overly cooked or it cooks yes so that is what you need to do in the get the perforated spoon you don't want water in and allow it to sit for a while yes if you let it sit for a longer uh spices be me into the mango bear 10 minutes or 20 minutes now watch it and see how beautiful it came because of the ginger the color is not going to be the same yes so the color looks a bit browny but it's not really so dark brown yes the spice to it that's made the color like that so yes if you've not tried plantain chips which is spice you should give this a try you will not get this in most of the regular um supermarkets or sales points or on the street in two way day it's all try with you and yes i just go supermarkets when you be are you so please pamper yourself for me if you've not liked if you've not shared if not subscribed please do well to do so now you see the subscribe in red if you've not hit it please do well to hit it and do well to hit the bell button by it and select your preference maybe if you choose the one on top i'll be so glad to okay so i'll see you in the next food video lots of love for my team and i Mwah. Thank you.